Hey everybody, this is Mrs. Clark, and I'm going to show you how you can change the colors in a pixel art. For example, this is a self-checking pixel art. And so when students answer the questions, the pixels are going to appear a little bit by bit like this. I'm going to show you how you can change the color without having to actually change the coding or do any coding yourself. So for example, this one is red and we can change that ribbon so that it suits your school's colors, for example. So if you want to get this diploma, you can get it in the link, but I hope that this will also help you with any other pixel art that you want to change the color for. So this specific diploma is going to come with a Google Drive folder and it'll have all of these graduation designs. So there are a bunch of different graduation theme designs that you can use for any grade. And then it also comes with videos on how you can change the questions because these are coded for multiplication or division, but you can actually change the questions to suit any content. And I have a video for that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use this one here. We're going to change the red colors and let's say we want to make them blue. First, we want to make sure the answers are filled out. So you would answer it first. And you can see that every answer box has a color associated with it. We are going to be changing those colors only. And if you ever want to see where that color shows up in the picture, you could just delete the answer and put it back in. And it'll show you where that color shows up. So. I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six different shades of red. This one is the darkest, followed by this one, then this one, then I think this one, this one, and then that's the lightest. So if I want to change it to blue, I just need to get six shades of blue, darkest to lightest. So I'm going to start here with this darkest one, and I'm going to open up the coding window. To do that, I come up to format. And if you don't have this menu, there's a little arrow in the top right corner. You can click open format and click on conditional formatting. And this is the coding window. Since I have this box selected, the code pops up over here on the right. So if I click on a different box, it's going to open the code for each box. Starting with my darkest red, I'm going to open up the code and it's already written. So I don't have to change the code itself. I'm just going to change the color. So I'm going to come down to the paint bucket and I'm just going to pick a dark blue. I can pick from here or if I want a custom color, I can pick a custom color. And you can always change it later too. So it's pretty flexible. Hit OK and now hit done. And you can see that this box changed color and the associated pixels also changed color. Now I'm going to go to the next darkest one, which is this 36 down here. And I'm going to click on the code and open it. And I'm going to pick a slightly lighter blue. But a good way to do that is to click on the one you just had first, because then when you open custom, it'll pull that color up. So the one I just did, my darkest blue is now pulled up. And then I can just take this little slider and make it a little bit lighter. And then I'll hit OK and hit done. So now I have two of my blues done. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep going. My next darkest is this 36 up here. I'll click on it, open the code. And I'm going to, again, click on the blue that I just had because now it pulls that one up. Click custom and I can just make it a little bit lighter. And then hit done. The next one, it looks like it's this bottom one down here. But you know, if you do have any trouble figuring out which one's the darkest, which one's the lightest, it doesn't really matter that much because it's just shades of blue. It's just a gradient. So it's probably going to still look like a diploma. It's still going to look good no matter what. A little bit lighter and hit done. Come up here to the 64. Open it. Click on the paint bucket. Choose the color I just had and then hit custom and go a little bit lighter. And I hope that this will help you too if you have a different pixel art you want or if you buy this set it has like a, like a teddy bear with a hat and you can change the color of the hat and things like that so you can really personalize it. This is also a really great tech lesson for students themselves because they can 
be successful with this. There we go. So now I have it coded so that it is blue instead of red. So let's check it out. And there's our diploma. So I hope that this helps you. You can do it with this diploma here. You can do it with any of these. You can change the colors. And I also have a set that has class of 2022, 2023, et cetera. So you can pick the year that you want to do and color code that as well. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how to change the colors in a pixel art. And I hope you have fun with this project.